NFL Picks, Week 15. Tonight's game, New York Jets getting three and a half at Dallas. New York Jets will kill Dallas. 24 to 6. Dallas got a rough break this year. The Jets are fighting for a playoff spot. They'll beat the Cowboys outright. Minnesota Vikings getting five and a half at home against the Chicago Bears. Might as well give Minnesota 20. They're going to beat Chicago 34 to 14. Jacksonville getting three points against Atlanta. <laughs> Come on, man. Atlanta's garbage. Pure garbage. Jacksonville will win this game outright. 24 7. Indianapolis getting two points against the Houston Texans. This one's a toss up. Both these teams must win. But I'm going with Houston on the road. Give me Houston. Low scoring affair 17 10. Houston wins. Kansas City getting seven at Baltimore. Kansas City wins that game 41 13. Baltimore's garbage. Buffalo getting one and a half at Washington. Washington's playing a ball right now. They're at home against Rex Ryan's overrated fucking defense. Washington wins. Kirk Daniel Cousins throws three TDs. Washington wins 28-14. New England getting 14 against Tennessee. This is a time of year where you're going to start seeing Tom Brady and the boys light it up. New England will win this game badly. It's going to be ugly. Very ugly for the Titans. Titans are a young upcoming team, but this year they're bad. New England will slaughter this team 45 nothing. Arizona getting three and a half in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is in the playoff picture right now, too. Must win. Unfortunately, Chip Kelly, you got no chance against Bruce Aarons and the Cardinals. Sorry. Fat ass Chip Kelly, Gerber baby's got no chance. Arizona wins this game outright and ends the Eagles' dreams. 27 21. I think it's going to be closer than people think. Carolina getting four and a half at the New York Giants. If Carolina's going to lose a game, this is the one it's going to be right here. If they beat the Giants, they'll go undefeated. My pick, overtime, Carolina wins, 31-28. Seattle getting 15 at home against Cleveland. Johnny Manziel, you need to uh, demand a trade from the Cleveland Browns because I think you got potential, just not in Cleveland. The Browns will get annihilated badly by 40 points. They, Seattle will win this game. 41. 41-14. The only reason Browns get 14 points is gonna be it's gonna be in garbage time and no one cares. Green Bay getting three and a half at Oakland. Green Bay needs to win. I believe they will win at Oakland. 28-20, take the Packers. San Diego getting one and a half against the Miami Dolphins. No one gives a fuck about this game. San Diego accidentally wins nine to six. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> no one cares. Pittsburgh getting seven at home against Denver and Brock Osweiler. Well, Brock Osweiler came down to earth last week. He's still a rookie quarterback. Was well, second year, whatever, basically a rookie quarterback. Pittsburgh is on a roll right now. Pittsburgh wins, but Denver will cover. Pittsburgh wins 24-20. Cincinnati getting five and a half with A.J. McCarron at San Francisco. I know everybody's been waiting for my opinion on A.J. McCarron. McCarron's time to shine is right now. Last three games, assuming Dalton doesn't come back. It's your time to shine, A.J. If you come out and light it up, that's all you need to know about Andy Dalton right there. A.J. McCarron was actually probably the... If A.J. McCarron would not have thrown that pick six, Pittsburgh would only beat us by six points with A.J. McCarron the whole game. So that's why I'm not a big believer in the Steelers. If Andy Dalton would have kept playing, the game would have been fucking 41 to nothing or 41-10. Andy Dalton would have choked big time. You've seen it. 
Um, I believe in the Bengals. I think the A.J. McCarron factor takes over. And I think A.J. McCarron's going to prove to everybody why Andy Dalton doesn't deserve that $100 million contract. If, the, if Cincinnati would win the next three games with A.J. McCarron, there's going to be a lot of questions in Cincinnati about the quarterback position. But, of course, you know, Marvin Lewis and Mike Brown, they're not going to change their ways. So, Andy Dalton, you're lucky you got two dumbass people behind you. Cincinnati wins this game 21-14. Monday night, Detroit at New Orleans. Another game no one gives a fuck about. New Orleans is getting three. New Orleans wins. 34 to 7. Who cares? There you go, week 15 picks. And good luck to all your teams. I can't wait for the real football is gonna start in a couple weeks. I mean, these next few weeks, a lot of these games no one gives a shit about. So take care, guys.